I was born in Philadelphia and we moved to Delaware Township in 1957, uh, soon to become Cherry Hill, New Jersey. And it was farm country. I was the oldest of four children. My father had a trailer repair shop in Philadelphia. Well, my role model was my dad. When I started college in 1968, I was 17 years old, I had two trailers. When I graduated Rutgers in Camden, New Jersey, four years later in 1972, I had 800 trailers on rent. But then over the next few years, uh, by 1989, I had 20 branches throughout the United States. And uh, we had 14,000 trailers on rent. So our proud moment was to have the national company. In fact, there's a photograph in my office of me holding a cake when I purchased our 10,000th trailer. To, to get to 10,000 trailers uh, while I was uh, in my early 30s, I thought was quite an accomplishment. But selling off the business uh, enabled me to enter a new chapter of my life. Uh, I joined the Union League in 1990. When I sold off most of the business interests that I had and just had the South Jersey operation, I was able to spend more time here at the Union League and to get involved in the committees of the league and eventually became a director vice president and then president of the Union League. My advice to, to young people is not to do networking in the traditional sense. The five o'clock happy hours is a waste of time. Join a nonprofit board, something that interests you, and there you'll meet the leaders of your community, whether it's the business field, the academic field, religion, legal, medical, and it doesn't matter what the mission of the nonprofit is or the purpose, the problems are usually the same and you'll see how leaders in the community deal with the problems and they solve the problems. And you'll learn an awful lot and there you'll be able to network with people that could help you, help promote your career. Not going to a five o'clock happy hour where you're with the same people who are miserable about their job and looking for someone else to hire them. Just don't waste your time doing that. Join a nonprofit board, do yourself a great service, and you do a great service to the community by giving back. My advice to high school students today is you really can't think about or even make a decision of what your career is going to be. I find it fascinating. You go into college and they want you to declare a major. How do you know what your major is going to be? Now, maybe in high school, if you're good in science, well, I'm, I'm a biologist or physician or something like that. But, but I think that to become successful in business, I think it's best to go to college into a liberal arts program and then think about specialization in graduate school. If I could have any job in the world, my dream job would be conductor of an orchestra. Leadership's about taking people that are with you to a place they never were. So when you have a great concert and people stand up and they applaud because that audience heard something that they probably never heard before. The, not that they didn't hear Beethoven's Ninth, but to have it performed the way it was. And the conductor is the leader and he brings all these um, dissimilar people and instruments together to produce a great work.